Hi, this is Emma Biori, and I finished fellowship almost four years ago now with Dr. Robbins. And I'm trying to think of my first um, memory of Dr. Robbins. And all that I can think of that keeps running through my head is stop the amitriptyline. Um, and that actually probably was my first memory because he did my family medicine board review course. It's like the national board review course. And he was doing the lectures for this, for uh, the geriatric series. Anyway, upon meeting him in fellowship, I was of course insanely intimidated at this um, amazing attending who was brilliant and had been practicing for, I don't know, 70 years. Um, anyway, I, I quickly realized, um, he was not, uh, only someone to be admired because of his brilliance, but also because of his tremendously compassionate care and witnessing him interact with our veterans in clinic was, um, truly inspiring and the rapport that he had with them and the relationships he had built over the hundred years he had been practicing. Um, he was such a tremendous uh, mentor and was so encouraging and supportive throughout my fellowship. Um, at words, words cannot say enough on what a tremendous impact he has had on my life and my career and how I interact with my patients. So thank you, Dr. Robbins. I'm Singh Pellet, a geriatrics physician and nursing home medical director. Dr. Larry Robbins was my geriatrics fellowship director. I can only hope that everyone could have the privilege of being taught and mentored by someone as fantastic as Dr. Robbins. He was the great teacher that would not stop challenging me to be more conscientious and pay more attention to every last detail. A lot of the medical knowledge I picked up from him are still in my head and in his voice. How to assess jugular venous distension, treating Parkinson's disease, wading through the healthcare system for veterans, and questioning the risk and benefit of every single medication I prescribed. The fact that I still remember these things 15 years later is because of how well Dr. Robbins taught it. He was the great mentor who was there to correct me when I made mistakes. He let me vent when things got tough. He gave his honest opinions when it came time to pick my first job. He made me a better doctor and a better person. I will never forget my mentor, my teacher, Dr. Larry Robbins. Hi there, I'm Carrie Levy, a former fellow of Larry Robbins and have worked with him as a colleague for many years. And I was hoping to share a poem that I hope captures some of the legacy he has in this community. Countless students educated, legions of veterans comforted, fellows supported through births, colleagues pulled through tragedy, beliefs challenged, critical thinking celebrated. A solid foundation built and upon it, futures were fortified. A legacy of conviction, a legacy of wisdom, a community shaped as a community remembers. I'm so grateful and forever indebted to Dr. Robbins for welcoming me, welcoming me into the fellowship and placing me in this community that I love so dearly and really could not ask for more.